Does Lillard need to get out of Portland now? He's been needed to get out of Portland. Uh, CJ knows my position on this. CJ knows that CJ and Dame both approached me years ago when y'all were at a shoot around and I showed up because I had to work in town that time. We talked about this years ago. Years ago, I called for CJ and Damian Lillard both to depart from Portland. Years ago, I said, excuse me, they can, they're both great because I got love for them both. They got both pure games. I love the way CJ plays. I love the way Dane plays. But I said, it's not enough, and you're not going to get any free agents to come to Portland. With those two, they were respectable. We understand that because when you're as good as they are, you're going to be respectable. But especially with C.J. gone, Dame definitely needed to go. I've been saying it's the one argument that I've gotten in with Damian Lillard in my entire career. And it's a repeated argument year after year after year. C.J. knows this. I have been begging Damian Lillard to get the hell out of Portland. You're not winning there. You're not winning there. You're not going to get any free agents to come there. It's just not going to happen. You're, who, doesn't love to, who doesn't love the thought of playing with Damian Lillard? Kevin Durant would have loved to play with Damian Lillard. There's a whole bunch of people that would have loved to play with Damian Lillard. What's their issue? He's in Portland. That's why. You understand? It's just that simple. Now, I know that people are not going to say this, and I don't expect Damian, and, and, and I'm not asking CJ to do that. That's not right. President of the Players Association, stellar veteran, great guy, played in Portland for years. I'm quite sure it's a great city to CJ McCullough. Damn it, I'm telling you. You're not getting anybody to come to Portland. You're going to have to draft. You have to build through the draft. You ain't getting anybody in free agency. So Damian Lillard, I, I haven't lied yet. I know you were in the conference finals in 2019, okay? Props to y'all for pulling that off. You ain't, you ain't going anywhere. Damian, the CJ is out, thank the good Lord. If Zion Williamson could get healthy, okay, we would have been talking about New Orleans possibly in the conference finals or the NBA finals as opposed to Denver with the other pieces that you have in place. So CJ, assuming Zion gets healthy, CJ might be in a better, is definitely in a better situation. Damian Lillard is not. This is a superstar. Not a star, a superstar. There isn't a point guard alive outside of Steph Curry that I would rather have in basketball than Damian Lillard on my squad. He deserves to be in the big market. Dame time sending people home, waving goodbye to them while he's doing it. This is Damian Lillard we're talking about here. And it's a crying damn shame that he is in Portland, Oregon, in the Pacific Northwest. Two hours from Seattle, okay? The bottom line, you need to get the hell out of there. I've been saying it to him for years. He won't listen. He won't listen, okay? But he needs to get the hell out of there. I wish he was in a New York Knicks form desperately. I wish he was in a major market desperately. He's not winning in Portland. It will not happen. I've been saying it, and I've been right. He need to get the hell out of town as agent Aaron Goodwin, who I know very well. I've been telling Aaron, damn it. You're the, one of the great, great agents in this business. Get him the hell out of town. And if he doesn't want to leave, convince him to change his mind. Get the hell out of Portland. You got to get out of there. Otherwise, we're just going to be talking about what <sighs> this great player was and how we never saw him on a big stage. Oh, CJ. It was a lot. There's a lot to unpack there. First yeah. of all, Seattle is like a two-hour, 45-minute drive to Portland. Yes, um, it is. For the record, that's it. That's it. That's it. If you enjoy wine in summertime, Portland is definitely for you. They got great wine country. Just want to preface this: like, if you want to visit, visit in the summer. That's the time to go. There's a lot of rain outside of the summertime, but back to basketball. I think for Dame, for the organization, this is obviously I know Dame. We just had wine and sushi last week, but I think this is me taking all of that out, <laughs> <laughs> taking that all out of the equation. This isn't Dame telling me these types of things. I think. The franchise is at a crossroad where they got to make a decision. Do you want to rebuild? Do you want to kind of build around some of the younger guys there? You got Sharp, you got Anthony, you got the number three pick, you got a lot of other pieces that you can kind of build around and hit the restart, restart button. Or you can try to get a player or players around Dame to, to kind of contend for a championship. So I think I've said it before, the market will dictate what happens here. You can talk to AG all you want. You can talk to Dame all you want. He's very headstrong. He's going to do what he wants. And I don't think I he's going to ask out. I don't think he's going to request out. But I, I will say this. I think based on how the draft goes and what happens leading up to the draft, if they're not positioned to have what we consider a title contending team or a puncher's chance, he's a boxer, right? He just wants a puncher's chance. And right now they do not have a puncher's chance. I think 
the fans can recognize that, the, the rest of the league can recognize that, then I think they will have a discussion where they try to figure out what's best for him and where he should go. We talked about Miami. We've talked about Brooklyn. We've talked about your Knicks. I don't think your Knicks are going to be able to get him, but you never know in this business. It's more about what teams can offer for Dame. Who has the right assets? Because he can want to go where he wants to go. You can want him to go to a big market or to Boston or to all of these cities, but the pieces have to work. And I think for them as an organization, they're at a crossroad. If I was a betting man, I would say this is the last that we've seen of him there. Um, if I was a betting man, I, I would say this is the last we've seen of him there. But I'm not a betting man, and I think he's going to let this play out. I think the organization is really going to see what they can honestly get both ways in terms of potentially moving D or potentially pairing him with a Mikael Bridges or someone of that caliber. Well, number one, they came awfully close to getting the number one pick in the draft on a lottery. So if they got the number one pick in the draft, we would not be having this conversation because all of a sudden they'd have a chance to win a championship. They got the kid from France, and they were third, and they were in the lottery, and they didn't get him, and San Antonio did. Yeah. So if they would have gotten the number third, no, if he would have gotten that 7-5 center, all of a sudden Steve would say, hey, Portland's got a chance to win a championship. This is a great thing. This guy could be a franchise. No, please. I would this not have said that. This could be a difference maker. I let you talk. This could be a difference maker. Did you just this say they, they uh, yeah. won the championship? Well, I mean, this guy's going to be a great, great player. If oh, they had please. this guy with Lillard, they would oh, be a very good it. team. Very good team. We just watched Devin Booker and Kevin Durant not win a championship. Well, I mean, I, I, fair. But you give this guy. This guy is seven foot five. This guy could be great. This guy, that's number one. Number two, did he sign So was Sean Bradley. Did he? This guy's better than Sean Bradley. Take it easy. <laughs> we huh? can all say he's better than Sean Bradley. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, that's number one. Number two, yes, I know did, that. He sign, yeah, man. did he sign Did he sign an extension there a couple years ago to stay in Poland? He did. A big extension. Yes. Big extension. Why did he sign the extension? Because he wants to yes. stay. He doesn't want ah! to stay. Well, then if he wants to stay, he wants... stay. Oscar oh Robertson. <laughs> Oscar Robertson played in Cincinnati forever. Who sits there and we're, what, we got to make sure Damian, Damian Lillard wins a championship? Says who? You're only as strong as your weakest link. We need Portland to be a decent team. Number four, that franchise has been a great franchise. They won a championship. We're just doing a big thing on Bill Walton right now, four parts. They've been to two finals. <laughs> two years ago, three years ago, they got to the semis with the right kid right next to me here. That was a very, okay. very good team. Okay. Okay. So now all of us, and number very five, great. what makes you think the grass is going to be greener somewhere else? What makes you think we're going to try? How did it work out for Durant? He thought he went. He was going to be great when he went to Brooklyn. That turned out to be a disaster. <laughs> he went to Phoenix and couldn't get out of the first round. He couldn't get out of the second round. I mean, George right, and, right. and Kawhi right. go to freaking out to L.A. They haven't won anything yet, and Rivers got fired. Harden goes to Philly. We'll win there. No, they haven't. Harden goes to the Nets. <laughs> we'll win there. No, he hasn't. So what makes you think that all of a sudden we're going to get loaded in this great spot that he's going to win five championships? And the idea that somehow the, the world is waiting for Damian Lillard to, win, yeah. to wear a ring is a freaking bunch of nonsense. Mm. Walk around New York, you think anybody says, boy, what a shame. We haven't seen Damian Lillard in an NBA final yet. Who cares? We know That's my great. point. We, but so That's what? My point. There's a lot of great players That's my we point. haven't seen. We, a lot of, can, I, can, can I respond? NBA, can I respond? Did Bob Lanier play the NBA finals? No. Great uh, excuse me. There's a lot of great players in the And, how, and how often final. do we talk about him? And how often do we talk about him? Listen, first of all, you're going to bring up Artis, Bob Lemnier. Don't forget to bring up Artis Gilmore. Let's not forget him, okay? There's a few days. Don't act like you're the only one that knows some history. That's number one. Number two, Portland, 1977, down 0-2 to the Sixers. Dr. J, McGinnis and the crew, Chocolate Thunder, Caldwell Jones, Bobby Jones and all that. You think you're the only one that knows something, okay? You're not. Bill Walton comes back, uh, 1977. It was 1977, okay? War, fast forward the clock. 1992, they go to the NBA Finals. Jordan takes them out, remember? Dropping threes on Cliff, Rob Cliff Robinson, Terry Porter, Clyde Drexler, just abused them. Hey, you see what I'm doing to these boys? Ever since then, where the hell have they been? I'm saying to you this. No, they're not talking about Damian Lillard. My point, exactly. He's Damian Lillard. 
Wow. One of the greatest players we have ever seen. The fact that he's mired in Portland and it's basketball purgatory in the Pacific Northwest. You ain't going to win a damn thing. It's one thing not to win. It's another thing where ahead of time, you know you don't have a chance, snowball's chance in hell of winning. He loves the city. He loves the people. He loves the way they treat him and his family. We get all of that. But at the end of the day, at some point in time, when you're that great, you got to put yourself in position to win. And I'm going to use C.J. McCollum as an example for this. Love C.J. You know I love you, C.J. You know I love you, man. And you know I know what kind of player you are. But it's a damn shame that you are in New Orleans and he's stuck in Portland. The fact of the matter is both of you should be going in a better situation in Portland. You found a better situation in Portland. Why the hell are you in a better situation in Portland? But he can't get himself in a better okay. situation in Portland. He's got to stop this. Only we Somebody's got to tell Damian Lillard show. enough. God. Enough. Damian you got to get the hell out easy. of Portland. Take it enough. easy. Take it enough. It's always personal. Come on. There's always and yes, some he would rather go to Brooklyn. By the way, Molly. Angle. By the yeah, way, I Molly. Knew it. I no, By the way, Molly, no. Say? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.